Strange. Well, time to go back to the real world, Ben. Called the material world. You may gather matter and will yourself to become manifest in the physical world. This is taxing, however. Your strength must first be fully restored. You require no conduit to return to this plane. You may abandon your physical body at any time. But to do so, we need full um, HP, which we currently do have. So yeah, why not give it a try? This is like your spell menu, but you only have like one spell, and that is change change worlds. Can only change world on these things to get into the material world, but to get into the spectral world, you can do it wherever you want. But again, to this, to, uh, get from the spectral world into the material world, you need have one of these things, circles, whatever. This fragile matter will dissolve. Now, excuse me a sec. Okay, it's looking better now because I changed some stuff and the options and all that. It look, didn't look that good before, but the material really looks a bit better. Oh, water. You are young yet, Raziel. You still retain many of your vampiric weaknesses. Immersion in water, while not fatal, will dissolve your physical body, forcing your return to the spirit world. Be aware that in the spectral realm, water has neither heft nor lift. It stands as thin as air. So, as we are still um, like half vampire stuff, water still hurts us. And let me demonstrate what happens if you fall into water. Basically, die and go back to the realm of the dead again. And when that happens, you see, water is nothing in the in the realm of the, in the spectral world. I'm gonna call it spectral world from now on. But if you have trouble remembering what it actually is, just call it realm of the undead. I need to go. And when you once you go back to the spectral world. You do get full health again, then step onto these and go back into material world again. Because most of the time it's gonna be a door or something or some puzzle and in the spectral world you cannot open doors or do puzzles with like blocks or some stuff like that. Because um you you are basically a ghost. And as you all know ghosts can't um can't open doors or push blocks because they are like thin air. And air can push stuff. What are these creatures? So we gotta go to the material, so we are um, material are thing once again. Mother, That's impossible. These foul scuttling beasts could not be kin of our high blood. Do you suppose that time stood still for you, Raziel? Much has changed since you passed from the world of men. Okay, it's time for some real comedy because that other comedy we did was just a bit of warm up. Now it's time to really fight. These are some mutated vampire myself. stuff. Physical Whatever. wounds are fleeting. Vampire's immortal flesh begins to close as soon as it is cleaved. Vampires need only fear those wounds that impale or inflame. Water scorches like acid, and fledglings are devastated by sunlight's touch. I would have to modify my tactics to suit. Now these enemies are actually a bit tougher. Oh, okay, there we go. Now to uh, in the spectral realm to kill the ghost stuff, you just have to attack them until they die. But in here, um, there we go. The vampires they don't die that easy. You first gotta knock them off, uh, knock them unconscious. So they are like this. Oh yeah, and in the German version, uh, the blood is green. Just notice. And you gotta throw them in the water so they die. You gotta impale them. Or you gotta throw them in the sunlight. You know, the usual stuff that hurts vampires. And then you can suck up their souls and regenerate some health. Okay, what do we do with this one? Let's impale him. Let's see. No, don't throw him? Okay, if I hold down, he throws him away, and if I... What? Okay, if I hold down, he throws him away. Okay, now it doesn't. Whatever. Let's just throw him in there. 
Oh, it didn't work. But he's still unconscious, so... Who cares? Can't do all this just because uh, when there are multiple enemies. So you have to look around what you do with them. To kill them uh, as fast as possible so you don't get interrupted by other enemies. There we go. Now will you die? Oh, stop throwing him! There we go. Now let's go there. Oh, it works. Yeah, it did. Once you sucked up a soul of an enemy, their body dissolves. I, think, I don't think that light hurts us. And now we gotta move this block. Your physical prowess surpasses what you knew in life. Even massive obstacles can be moved effortlessly. We can't push blocks in Spectre World, only in the Matili World. And the good thing about this game is you can push them in every direction once you grab them. Like in other games, we have to run around them to push them in some other direction. You can push them wherever you want to after you grab them. Okay, I think it's directly there. Nope. Not really. Whoops, yeah, if you press it only once, the, the grab button, he just pushes the block. If you don't want to really grab him, that's actually pretty good for a game. You don't have to grab it. Makes these block puzzles really fast, like in other games. Now let's grab ourselves a weapon, like a torch, because we all know that fire hurts vampires as well. Um, yeah, there we go. Cutscene time. The sanctuary of the clans reduced to ruin. Beyond these walls lay the pillars of Nosgoth, the seat of Cain's empire. How humble it now appeared, collapsing into the dust of its former magnificence. And yet, I had only just emerged. In the instant between my execution and resurrection, centuries had apparently passed. This world is wrecked with cataclysms. The earth strains to shrug off the pestilence of Cain's parasitic empire. The fate of this world was preordained in an instant by a solitary man. Unwilling to martyr himself to restore Nosgoth's balance, Cain condemned the world to the decay you see. In that moment, the unraveling began. Now it is nearly played out. Nosgoth teeters on the brink of collapse. Its fragile balance cannot hold. Okay, seems like Kane is a pretty bad guy. Okay, now that we got um, a torch, whoops, I hate him to throw it. Why did he throw it away? Okay, wait a second, what's the fatality move again? I think I forgot the. Oh, that's not the fatality. That's it. Yeah, once you use a torch, um, it goes off. Can't use it again, I can't throw it. Boom! Hey, I didn't throw it. Whatever, give me a soul before it goes away. Haha, oh, you are not fast enough. Now, when you knock them unconscious, an enemy, and you don't have anything to kill them, and you gotta walk, you might, as, you might just um, knock them unconscious and find a weapon. Come on, grab it. So you can't kill them. Gonna use these weapons, like th these bears, a lot. Because when they are unconscious, you can press the, as I call it, the fatality button. Because it kills enemies with like these. And kill them. Be sure to first get the soul and then pick it back up. Because I think if you. If the soul goes away, like you didn't suck it up, and you grab the spare again, they get reborn. So be careful. Wait a second. I think you have your torch and use it there. You can light it up again. Whoops, I meant to throw it. Yeah, that's the fatality button. If you press it like that, you can just throw it and they can also impale enemies if you sneak up on them because I think there's an enemy right up ahead. And I think if you get close to him and throw it, I think you can kill him right away. Okay, let's try it. Haha! Sneak attack critical! 
I want to do that more often, as often as possible. So I don't have to fight every time. Okay, let me see. Can we get up there? No. I always wonder what's up there. Now, this is the way to go on, but first you want to go through here. Because as this sign tells you, it's one of these teleporter rooms. So we might as well just activate this one so we can come back to this place at any time. And I think this is the teleporter we're going to use the most because this is like the core point of this entire world. Where you can go to any other of the levels and stuff.